line of the thread. Matthew chapter 4 verses 9 up to 12. 13 I mean. Matthew chapter 4 verses 9 up to 13. And he said to them, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and call and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isang pinagpalang mga kumpo sa inyong lahat. I... I'm so thankful for all your prayers for the success of my mission in Mindoro and Batangas. And I also personally thank you for all the blessings you've shared with me to go back home. And, and I was so grateful to God for everything He has done uh, when I went home. And thank you all for, for all your prayers. Without your prayers, without your support, uh, it would not be that uh, memorable as as it was. Okay, so uh, my topic for today is about the most common reasons why we couldn't serve the Lord. The reason why I'm going to share this is because I would like you to I would like you to enjoy I would like you to appreciate the meaning of life by serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you like to serve the Lord? Amen. Okay. Let me ask you, what would you do if ever the queen decided to visit your house? Yeah. Huh? Prepare. 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 Make it short. Make it short. What would you do? Prepare food. Prepare food. Just for food. <laughs> Clean the house. Summarize it. <coughs> huh? He'll just show you your, how your room look like with the queen. <laughs> Put it in the Facebook. Summarize. What you gonna do whenever the queen decided to visit your house? Come on. 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 Come What's, what, what's our topic for today in a way? Most common reasons why we couldn't serve the Lord. So when ever the queen decided to go to your house, I would, I would make it as a general response you have, or we have, we will serve the queen. Am I right? No matter what you do, put it into one sentence, it is serving the queen. And it is just the queen. No offense. Compared to God, the queen is nothing. Amen. Amen. If people will serve the queen of United Kingdom, if people will serve the royal family, we should serve the king of kings and the lord of lords. Amen. But the question is, are we really serving the lord? Yes. Uh, amen. Yes, amen. What about the rest? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, it is my aim or sir, as a part of introduction, serving the Lord is a great manifestation of our relationship with Him as our King and Lord. 
Because we know the queen in, in England or the royal family, whoever they are, once we real or re acknowledge them, our ten the best tendency or the best response we have is to serve them. Because we know the Lord as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, our response should be to serve Him. Amen. So serving the Lord is the greatest manifestation of our knowledge and relationship with Him. Okay? Being able to serve the Lord only signifies a shallow foundation of our faith and knowledge of who He is. Sorry, I, I don't know what's wrong with the remote control. It's not working. Again, being able to serve the Lord only signifies a shallow foundation of our faith and knowledge of who He is. Because if we, re if we truly know the Lord, we should be serving Him. I'm not sure why your faces look like that. Are you thinking, oh, pastor is so dark now? <laughs> just part of serving the Lord. You might be thinking, I was enjoying the beach. I only had a 10 minute swim on the beach. Before, before that uh, uh, beach time, I was already tanned. Uh, I, we traveled four to six hours a day on, on, on three missions on the island for four days. And that is the result. I get so dark. <laughs> And that is natural with me. <laughs> okay, so our aim for this topic is to for us to eliminate our excuses of not serving the Lord. I know you have excuses, I have my own, so we have to eliminate those excuses. And second aim is for us to worship and serve our the Lord our God alone. You want to worship and serve the Lord our God alone? Amen. Amen. Okay, so let me ask you. What are the most common reasons why we don't serve the Lord? Work. 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 It could be. Laziness. Laziness. Could be. Other priorities. Other priorities. Very good. There are so many reasons, but I would just like to present to you five reasons. First, we love worldly pleasure instead. Yes. Amen? Amen? By the way, is it your first time here? Uh, on behalf of God, most high Christian thank you for coming. Welcome to the church. We should have welcomed you, you know. Sasaloin ko na lang sila. Welcome to the church. We will call you later. Okay, so, first common reason why we don't serve the Lord is we love, the, we love world, worldly pleasure instead. We, we enjoy the, what the world could offer. We, we take pleasure on something else instead of taking pleasure on serving the Lord. Am I right? Amen. Yes? Okay, so we don't mind spending money on things we enjoy. Yes. Do you mind spending money on things you enjoy? Amen. No. You even, you even sacrifice more, you even, uh, you even save more for, for you to enjoy on things or to spend your money on things you enjoy. Instead of taking pleasure and serving the Lord, we take delight on something else. Let's say for example, if you're given an option to go on holiday and to serve the Lord, which one would you choose? <laughs> the way you smile at me, you're, saying, you're telling me that you would rather go on holiday than serving the Lord. Possible boat. <laughs> well, I took, I took both. I served the Lord and then I go on holiday. That's my bonus, really. <laughs> it, would it be possible to, to serve the Lord and take pleasure? Yes, it depends on your priority. But sadly or unfortunately, other, most Christians' priorities are on pleasure. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how would I show my the picture there if it's not there? <laughs> my goodness, I have to connect it here. Okay, <laughs> where is it? What's 
strong with the <laughs> computers or remote controls. No wonder the Lord says, Come on. Ayo, ko paggamitin ng PowerPoint. Because when I went to the islands, there was no PowerPoint, there was no electricity. Uh, the generator only works until 10 o'clock. So once it's 10 o'clock, it's off. You're obliged to sleep. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> so in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, the Lord says, Rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say, rejoice. We don't appreciate that verse so much, but when the Lord says, rejoice in the Lord, we should take pleasure on serving Him. Amen? Amen. And David in Psalm chapter 40, verse 8, he said, I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your, and your law is within my heart. It is, it, it's, it is just trying to say, Lord, your, my joy comes from you. It is my pleasure. It is my delight to serve you. But instead of de taking delight in the Lord, we, we take delight in something else. No offense. Amen? Uh, I, was, I was laughing when somebody commented on the video or in the pictures while we, are, we were on mission because... Uh, okay, <laughs> because the boat we, we used going to uh, Paluan, Paluan Occidental Mindoro was just good for eight persons. And guess what? We were, we, we were on uh, the ocean wherein the big ships were going through and it is, if, if you don't have much faith in the Lord, you will be scared. The boat from, from the water level is just like this, but the waves are just like this, that time. So, <laughs> we were, some, some of them were praying, they were interceding. Why, why me? I was sleeping. <laughs> you know why? Because I put my trust in the Lord. I believe in the Lord that no, nothing will happen. If I was scared, the first thing I would do is I would not take my mom there. Because my 74-year-old mom was with me all the time when I was in Misha. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't a punishment for her. She was enjoying it. <laughs> she was so quiet until uh, I, we reached home in Bohol and she was telling the story to my sister-in-law that so, uh, there was a time when she doesn't know who to pray. <laughs> She was scared. I didn't realize it. But the, the reason why and I, I took her with me because I believe in the Lord and I, I should show to her that this is how we should serve. And guess what she told me? She's, she was so blessed with God knows high Christian ministry because she's still, no offense, she's still in El Shaddai and in El Shaddai, they don't have much to even wash their hands when they were they were cooking the, the chicken, they were slicing the vegetables, and guess what? One of one of the containers they used in putting the noodles to serve the people were just uh, one of the containers in the bathroom. They didn't even wash it. <laughs> and that's it. And how simple they are. <laughs> and no wonder uh, the Pastor Leo didn't took a, uh, did, uh, took aside uh, something for us. I don't care. <laughs> I, I would rather eat something else. <laughs> Okay, another picture. This is that's the one I'm talking about. This was this was the one I used when I took a bath. I didn't even wash it. <laughs> they just took it from the bathroom, put the noodles on it, and eat. And guess what? Even Pastor, what Pastor Leo said, if they didn't buy something for that, they would just put the noodles on a banana leaves, and they don't even wash their hands. They just wipe it on their clothes. Uh, dirty clothes, eat with their bare hands after eating, wipe, wipe their hands and their clothes again, and that's it. <laughs> okay? This one is uh, the pastoral house we have built for them. 
this guy or this man is the dad of the mamia who have married uh, I think it was an American American missionary that is the man and the one next to him uh, oh I, I, I put the inserted the room picture his brother was th there as well they own the lot who are who are where we we built the pastoral house actually my, my first plan was to build uh, a church for them and God the word, word of God says in all things God work for good it ended up we that we built the, we built them a pastoral house because I was so blessed when we reached the island they sent us to a particular Tagalog house or Tagalog person who owned the house every visitors that come to that place will sleep on the house politicians army teachers we slept on the same house and I told them you can use the pastoral house whenever you have a visitors you can use the pastoral house God most high pastoral house as soon as Pastor Leo have taken or sent the picture of that should be finished by now that was way back uh, that was on the 28th of January it was finished all materials that has been bought was uh, used on the 5th of February so by, by the time Pastor uh, Leo has sent me I will give you an update but what I'm trying to say is it is so nice to serve the least of our brethren as the mayor of the Manian said although they are the least of the, 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 the categories of the people we bless them by visiting them and creating them or building them a pastoral house amen, amen. okay that's our picture <laughs> <laughs> we were traveling on a ship route. So, okay, another one. This, this is just the boat we were using. A small one, but we have a big gun. My life, our lives were not on the boat, but in the hands of God. So, there's nothing to worry. Right. Okay, so, the safest place to be is where the code you to go. The Lord, where the Lord called you to go. Yeah. <coughs> Alright? Yeah. Even if you stay in London and it, it is not the place where God intended you to be, it's not the safest place. Yeah. But even if you go to, even if, we, uh, just for example, even if I, go, I went to, to uh, Panaman, Occidental Mindoro, a uh, sister, sister <laughs> Beth is from uh, Mindoro as well, we took uh, six hours and actually on the last day that the Mangyan took us to, to Ambel, uh, they, they traveled from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening. It was supposedly 4 hours, it, they took 10 hours because the waves was really uh, big the time. It wasn't calm. And even when we took the big ship, Ah, we, <laughs> they, it, it was really not good. But with God, everything is possible. Yeah. Amen? Okay? So, in a bigger perspective, the king's will has to be done by all means. Do you think I was effort to go out and outreach like that? In El Shaddai, no offense, I am not, I'm not criticizing this ministry, but she said, if you don't have much remittance, if you don't have much collection, they don't send pastors on that, those chapters. Their concern is to take some collections of that chapter to be sent to the main office. But in God Most High Christian Ministry, we are the one supporting the small prayer groups. No wonder in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, okay? Though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food. In verse 18, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, carry on, and there be no word in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Imagine. It's just like saying, I don't care 
if everything will be gone, every, I will be bankrupt. No, I don't care if I will be sick. I don't care no matter what happened. I will still rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can we say like that? <laughs> As if you're trying to say, even if you don't have boyfriend on, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I, I, I just try to, I just try to recommend you to one of the manuals because... <laughs> I, I know I believe God is something for you. Okay, so, second reason why we don't serve the Lord Okay, please. Or, or before that, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 and 18, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. When we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. In other words, you're taking pleasure not on the things you cannot see, but you're taking delight, you're taking joy, you're rejoicing on the things which you could not see. And serving the Lord is working for the things that you could not see. You don't have a pay slip, you don't have a salary, but still you must take delight in serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. So second. First, we, we, uh, we take pleasure in something else. The second is, we serve other master. And who is that? Money. money. Okay? Because God says, we're going to serve two masters, God or money. And I think, this is a good part to promote my book. For those who haven't <laughs> bought the book yet, <laughs> we still have plenty of supplies or stocks. <laughs> and if, if I were you, if you wanted to be blessed, you can buy some of those books and share to those who are not willing to buy. Amen. After all, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. 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 Okay, so if we're not serving the Lord, then we must be serving money then. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> Unfortunately, most Christians worship the Lord on Sundays, but serve money during the rest of the week. Ang dito na naman si Pastor, pinapatamaan na naman kami. Ang <laughs> part time. And it, it is much bigger. Okay? Please? This is the picture. If you could switch off the light, please. This is the picture of our Mangyan believers in... Uh, <laughs> okay? They, they cook noodles for, uh, uh, for their dinner after the fellowship. And guess what? I was thinking, after the fellowship, we just had, I couldn't even remember what did we eat. I think we had a pusit after the dinner, but we, they were cooking noodles for the fellowship, for the dinner. And I said to myself, why did they uh, set aside something for us? We visit them, we, uh, we, we bought them food for them to eat, but they were not setting aside for the pastor. And I asked Pastor Leo, why, why was it, why, why didn't you set aside the, some noodles for us? And guess what he told me? Lutong baboy. You didn't even understand when he said lutong baboy. There was no proper hygiene when they prepared the food. Did I go there for pleasure? No. Do you think I go there so that I can go home to Bohol as well? No. no. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Partly, well, that's part of my bonus. <laughs> that's the, the only. That's the second time I go for I go for holiday. But mostly it wasn't a holiday. I had to I had to uh, I had to make sure that the mission in in Batangas and Mindoro will be finished before I go holiday. Okay. So third, lack of compassion. What was the first? We take pleasure in something else. The second, we have other master. Third, lack of compassion. How do you understand the word compassion? 
Uh, could you switch the light off, please? On, please. So the video would have would be much better. What do you mean? What do you understand? N not this one. Not this one. Except this one. That one. Uh, yeah. Okay. How do you understand the word compassion? Huh? Devotion. Devotion. <coughs> not that. You are helping with that. Okay. You have a point. Okay. A feeling of deep sympathy and sorrow for another who is stricken by misfortune, accompanied by a strong desire to alleviate the suffering. I'm not down English yet. <laughs> that is very simple this definition of compassion. A feeling of deep sympathy, you put yourselves in their shoes, uh, and sorrow for another who is stricken by misfortune, Accompanied by a strong desire to alleviate the suffering. You, you just don't look at them and pity them. You have the desire to do something to help them. Are you following? The reason why we don't serve the Lord and try to win more souls into the kingdom because we don't have much compassion on them. Are you following me? Yes? What do you mean, no? You're not following me? Okay. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. If we have compassion on the souls going to, to hell, okay, many are walking on the wide way to destruction while only few are walking on the straight way to heaven. But most of us are doing nothing about it. Why? Because we lack compassion. We could just simply afford looking at them going to hell without being saved. As if we don't have a feeling to save them. We don't have a feeling to, to help them to know the truth and be saved. And this is the main point why we serve the Lord because we have compassion for the lost souls. Unfortunately, some of us are Christians, or should I say, all of us are Christians here, but not all are doing something for the salvation of others. This is a point where in you're not eager to bluff because it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the truth hurts, but the truth shall set us free. Yeah. And that is one of the main reasons really why we don't serve the Lord. If I don't have compassion for the lost souls, who are they? Why should I serve the Lord? If I don't love you all, why should I prepare topic every Sunday? I could sleep and enjoy my Facebook. I could, I could go somewhere on holiday instead of preparing, instead of writing a book, instead of preparing sermons, but it's my compassion that you would grow as well in your relationship with the Lord and your loved ones will be won into the kingdom of God. Amen? When I met my, my batchmates in college, they were so happy. Not because I was the one who paid the bill. <laughs> They could, partly, <laughs> they could just still believe that I, I, I'm not the same person when they knew me before. Uh, even when, when my friends in El Shaddai, they, they went, to, went to Bohol, it's my payback time. They were the people who helped me when I don't have any money, when I was serving the Lord without allowance, they were the ones who helped me. Now it's my payback time. So they, they went to the hall, they enjoyed their holiday, I paid, I paid the expenses. It's pay back time. My wife may say, oh, maguti pa yung ibang tao, ginasto sa What do you expect? <laughs> I'm the one coming from London and they should be the one paying for the bills. I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's just part of my gratitude that they helped me. Uh, they were the, the same people who, who led me to know the truth. So it was a payback time. But my point there is, when they saw my friends, uh, the, <laughs> the other, my, my compare was scared with my friends, with Sando and with the, uh, with, <laughs> with the uh, bandana and the tattoo left and right. So he was, he was scared. He could not hardly, he could not believe that, oh, 
from these barcadas out of this gum, you became a pastor. My goodness, there's nothing impossible with the Lord. <laughs> although, although three of them weren't able to attend the uh, the prayer meeting because uh, they, they gathered together at the last minute, but I tried to minister them. It is my it is my compassion. It is my desire that as I knew the Lord, they would also come to know the Lord. And I could proudly say the greatest satisfaction in life is serving the Lord. Amen. 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 Okay. So, where are we? If you could just see them going to hell, things would never be the same. You agree with me? Uh, yeah, the, the Philippines, I think, is one of the worst countries where there is no health and safety measures. You agree with me? Although the terrain in India is worse, <laughs> they, they also have passengers on top of the train, uh, on the sides of the train. But health and safety issues, Philippines is a very poor country. Amen? No wonder there's lots of tragedies because there's no health and safety issues. But what I'm trying to say, uh, in, in London or in UK, the, the rail has been fenced. In the Philippines, there's no fence. House. You can just cross, cross the, the, the rails. There's no even lights. Imagine before the, before the train comes, people are crossing on the rail as if it was just inside their house. And even children are playing at the race. Uh, what I'm trying to say, there's no, there's no health and safety issues. But if we see people in danger, we try to do something. How much more when we know that a person is going to hell? You should try to do something. But if you're not doing anything at all, you must have lack of compassion. Amen? Okay? Fourth, we are so busy with so many things. <sighs> <laughs> we're going to serve the Lord because we're so occupied with other things, okay? What's the meaning of busy again? Being under Satan's yoke. Yo. So if until now you're not serving the Lord, I'm not saying serve like me. You must be able to do something. Yes. You're not just Simba away. <laughs> go to church and go home. At least you're able to do something. Okay? God assures us that His yoke is easy and His burden is light. Are you aware of that? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Come to me, those of you who are heavy laden and, and uh, taking heavy burdens, because I will give you rest. And he assures us that his burden is light. Are we taking a, a, a light burden? Probably not. Why is that? What's the reason why we have a heavy yoke? We're not taking, we're not having a light burden. Because we're not serving the Lord. God said, my burden is easy and my yoke, my, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And then, you think people in London has a, has a light burden? No. no, we are more stressed than the people in the Philippines. Yeah. They're enjoying life more than we do. Yeah. They're taking holidays most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have a job. So they are just like on holidays. But they eat a lot. They go to the mall a lot. They're, they're buying more brand new cars than we do. My goodness. The, the Toyota Grandia, ah, they, they, they just use it for their jeepneys nowadays. But here in London, we find it hard to buy new cars. If we do, we 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 just we just happy with uh, second hand or slightly used car. But oh my goodness, you will be you will envy the brand new cars you will see along the along the way. Why we we go there? 
<laughs> okay. Uh, as a person of testimony, uh, it's you might you might think you might think uh, how did Pastor do that? He's working as a full time nurse. He's he, he he's pastoring on his days off, day day off, and then I, I, I'm even able to write a book. To be honest, I'm writing my third book now. It's just. I've written three chapters already, 50 pages. So, how would I be able to do that? Because with the help of God, my yoke becomes easy. My burden becomes light. No wonder, even if you have so many trials in life, if you serve the Lord, you still carry on because you could not quit, you could not give up because the calling of the Lord is irrevocable. He does not change His calling if you do not respond. The problems sets in, the problems arise if we refuse to obey His calling to serve Him. Amen. Amen. Okay? We took a different yoke or burden. What are the yokes of burden we're taking? Okay? If we cannot serve the Lord, we are still under Satan's yoke. I think the, the, uh, the other example of yokes are in, on the different slides. Okay? We must aim to maximize our time with the Lord. If you wanted to serve the Lord, maximize your time with the Lord. <coughs> as, I, as I said earlier, this is not the topic you wanted to, you're, all, you're eager to clap your hands. I hope the silence, you are, you are absorbing what I'm trying to say. As Sister Flora has said, we will keep or pay attention on what the Lord has to say. Okay? So our occupation must be something that pertains to His kingdom. Uh, if, if, if you apply for a job or if you are trying to apply to a bank or you open an account, yeah, they would uh, require you to, to declare your occupation. Am I right? Occupation simply means the things that occupies your time. What does occupy? What, what is your occupation? Huh? <laughs> What makes you busy? <laughs> what are you living for? What is your motivation of taking a job? What is your motivation of working? Is, is it something that is related to the kingdom of God or just for own, own personal interest? <laughs> no offense. I'm not the one saying that. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost finished. Fourth, we are not willing to sacrifice. Our faith, we are not willing to sacrifice. Serving the Lord is a sacrifice. <coughs> Unfortunately, we sacrifice a lot on parties. Just like that. Birthday parties, you don't sleep a lot because you're cooking until 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And you wake up early because you still have to cook what you haven't cooked before you slept. Amen? On our sick loved ones, we sacrifice. We save a lot for our own and so that we can send more money for those who are sick. Or for their education, we save a lot. We sacrifice a lot for their welfare or their future, but we don't do much for the Lord. Hello? Is it too much for you guys? No. No? no? Or it, it, this is just the reality that we have to face. Yes. We have to deal with it or there's no point declaring that we serve the Lord our God and King and then we're not serving Him. Okay, Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. In other translation, it says, which is your reasonable worship. Why? Because in, in Matthew chapter 4, as we have read that, Jesus said, we cannot worship God and serve other masters. It has been written, worship the Lord thy God and serve Him alone. Amen. 
Amen? Okay? So, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Uh, this is a good supporting verse. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone decides to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever decides to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. You might be able to say, Kawawa naman si pastor, hindi na nga, guwapo, nakitin pa. <laughs> they said there's a saying, uh, tall, dark, and handsome. I am not tall, I am just dark, and I'm not handsome. Well, I don't care. <laughs> My wife sent me a, a sunblock. Unfortunately, I forgot it. Mm -hmm. I forgot my Bible. I forgot my pants. <laughs> I forgot so many things when I went home. But even if my skin gets dark, with, with, with my age, I should not be away. I should not be concerned with my with my skin. The Lord is not looking on our skin, but He's looking on our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's my excuse. <laughs> but it says here, whoever decides to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. In other words, the more you sacrifice for the Lord in serving the, mo the Lord, the more you receive and enjoy life. The reason why we don't enjoy life because we don't offer it in serving the Lord. Amen? And with, God, with, with God's goodness, with God's grace, I'm so blessed. I, I, went to, I went to the mission. I had a good holiday. And guess what? With our pursuit of fun or adrenaline, uh, we had a day out with my brother. Uh, we took a a ride with the big bikes and guess what? I crash. <laughs> yeah, I crash. Not no, again. Not when I was speeding on 150 km per hour. That's that's quite that's that's quite fast in the Philippines. Guess what? Uh, the only damage I had was a scratch here, scratch on my knees and here. What about the bike? You're so concerned with the bike. <laughs> with the bike? Just a scratch. At least it didn't happen when I was speeding. Because I'm not used to, to motorcycles anymore, especially with the big bike. When when it is a blind cord, my goodness, <laughs> I was I was shaking because I'm not used to it. I haven't driven a motorcycle for almost 20 years. And then now I'm driving a big bike. But at least when I cross, I only had a, a I only had a scratch. What is what is the good thing that the Lord look after me? <laughs> and then guess what? When, when I came to London yesterday, I had three bags aside from my camera bag. So the custom the custom told me uh, that he will go, he's going to check my bags. Because he was asked, he was wondering, you have plenty of bugs and you're, you're, you're on your own? You must be carrying something. So he asked me, do you have cigars? You, you have meat with you? And I said, no. So he said, I'm going to examine your bag. The, 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 the bag that he examined was the big one and there is only two pack of dried fish on that. <laughs> <laughs> only two, because I scattered them on every bag. <laughs> I said to myself, Lord, <laughs> please intervene. After checking the big, big bag, he said to himself, oh, you're okay. He didn't check the small one, full of, full of dried fish. And <laughs> but it didn't even scare me. Why? Because I put everything in the hands of God. Amen? Okay? Oh, How much sacrifice are you willing to offer to God? More than two hours? <laughs> Is that the only sacrifice you could offer to God? What prevents you today from serving the Lord? Uh, huh? from, from the most common reasons why we couldn't serve the Lord, what 
is applicable to you? Are you willing to give them up? Are you willing to eliminate them? Are you willing to give yourself and serve the Lord as a living sacrifice? Conclusion, Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. I would like you to stand. I encourage you as you sing this song once again to surrender your life to the Lord. The reason why we have so many struggles in life because we insist our own ways. We insist our own personal interests and ambitions. We do not submit to God's will. So I encourage you, I challenge you to surrender everything to God. So that there would be no struggle. There would be no competition of whose will to be done. We should be able to say, Lord, it is your will that should be done, not our own will. It is my prayer that you would commit to serve the Lord more than ever before. As we sing this song, I surrender.